Okay, let's take a look at this particular tool called Wireshark. Uh, originally, Wireshark was given a name called Ethereum, but it was later converted to a new name called Wireshark. It is actually a network protocol analyzer. Right, so what does that mean? Basically, what it does is it captures network packets right, off the network through a network card and it has the very good display capability of showing out all this packet that you have captured in quite a detailed manner so why why Wireshark well uh, basically there are quite a number of use for it although it is called a network uh, protocol analyzer all right there's actually quite a number of use for it and it's quite versatile it can be used for network troubleshooting for instance uh, why certain things certain protocols are not running uh, is it executing correctly it can also be used for network security by identifying oh there is a particular machine that is flooding the network so which machine is it that's flooding the network because you can see the IP address it can help you identify if uh, a protocol is implemented correctly or not right uh, for instance HTTPS is it implemented correctly all right uh, are the data transfer correctly okay the communication it has also been known to be used for malware analysis for instance uh, these uh, remote accessors, uh, data leakages, okay, some malware are transmitting data to somewhere else. Why are we getting uh, such weird packet to this very weird IP address that is unknown? All right, so maybe a uh, tracing or tracking from there onwards, you will notice that hey, this is an unknown IP address, data should not be going there. And you can also use it for computer forensic. Right. For instance, if there is a particular machine that is uh, scanning or, or sending packets towards your machine okay, or sending commands to your machine, it will come in terms of packet and you may be able to see why am I interacting with this particular IP address or this particular machine. So it's actually quite versatile in how it is actually used. But it is not a intrusion detection system it is not an intrusion prevention system because it doesn't really alert you but it doesn't give an alert it doesn't uh, do take any action it just basically capture the packet but for you to analyze okay and you do not use wireshark to manipulate the network packet Right, so you can't go in and uh, adjust the packet or change it or alter it in any way.